To mark the end of this very important event, I'd like to, in, uh, to close, as we be begun, with a few words from Mr G. OK, yeah, thank you very much, um, Simon, for inviting me. Um, yeah, um, when I came here, I didn't really realise what I should wear. I thought I'd wear my favourite Spider-Man T-shirt, you know. <laughs> Because the lessons I learned from that comic book is that with great power comes great responsibility. And um, I first became a poet because I was against the war. I marched against the war and many of my poems dealt with peace and stuff like that. But then when the bombs hit 7-7, a good friend of mine called Christian Small was um, caught up in the Russell Square explosion. So I found myself with the power of my words and being faced with the responsibility to have to deal with them. So this poem I'd like to end with, it covers, I suppose, the divisions that I think keep us apart, which we have to overcome in order to overcome the theatre of war. It's called Citizen G. If my family is my nation, then how can I be a citizen? If my street is my nation, will its laws be written in a way we can understand, so we can shake our neighbour's hand? United so we can cease to fight our fellow man. If my nation is my borough, would its focus be thorough? And how would I view others who I don't see as brothers, or should I claim my city? Amidst the grimy and gritty concrete streets, could I seek to find that which uplifts me? Now what about my country? Isn't that where my love's supposed to lie? But what if a war gets fought in her name, which doesn't always seem right? So can competition be confined to a football field? Or do graveyards have to be filled with patriotic zeal? Now what about my colour? Doesn't that link me to another? who shares the same struggle, my sister, my brother? But who then belongs and who gets pushed aside with the others? Do we separate the greys and shades to allocate who suffers? You see, we all seem to want to belong and just focus on our differences which are strong in us. So we look for groups, one to identify me, so I can wave my flag high and let it fly free, so I can cheer my team on by that I feel defines me. Whether it's right or it's wrong, it dignifies me. But my group can't be too big. And it can't be too diverse, because I want to feel that I'm elite, not common and cursed, because my group is the best group, and no man can test group. If you're north, then I'm south. If you're east, then I'm west group. It's difficult for us to imagine there's just one human race, but we like to cling on to our divisions and exhibit our hate. Maybe one day we'll listen to the wise men who say, we don't own a piece of Mother Earth. Mother Earth owns us, and everybody here is on a temporary stay. Thank you very much. Oh,